Hey you guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. As you can see by the title of today's video, I am going out to dinner with some friends in New York City. And that is why I look the way that I look. I feel like I haven't worn a full face like this in so long and it feels so weird right now, but I'm loving it. I am in a huge rush right now. I have no idea what to wear and we have to leave in literally 10 minutes. So let's go very quickly to my closet, get an outfit, and I will see you guys in a second. I filmed a full get ready with me on my TikTok since my camera battery was dead, but I will be bringing you along on my entire night while I'm there with the girls. And also I plan to do a get unready with me later on tonight when I get back home. So you guys will be able to see at least a little bit of fun content like that. So yeah, let me know if you want to get ready with me for this look. I will be sure to film it here in depth since my TikTok videos are more behind music and not so much sharing what I'm doing. So yeah, let's go. It is now 2.30 in the morning. I got home about 10 minutes ago and I am just about ready for bed. But first, we obviously have to take this makeup off, get in the shower, do some skincare, and then we can go to bed. So of course, I'm gonna share this whole little process with you guys. Since I didn't film the getting ready process, which I'm sure you guys all wanted to see, but again, my camera was dead. So I resorted to TikTok, so go and check it out. I will leave it on the screen as well so you guys can watch a little bit. But yeah, it's time to take her off and I'm going to be using the La Roche Posay Micellar Water for sensitive skin. I just recently discovered that La Roche makes a micellar water and I am so happy about it because as most of you know, this is definitely one of my most favorite skincare brands and we need micellar water to take off our makeup. So I'm gonna take a little bit on a cotton round and Begin taking off all of my makeup, obviously. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that I got a laser treatment done on my face today, and I was planning on filming it, but I had my eyes like taped shut due to the fact that they were doing laser on my face, and I can't have my eyes open during the treatment, but I'm excited to see the result of it in the next few weeks. It is IPL and I've done it before, but it's kind of like a session based. So you have to go about four to six times, I believe, for it to fully work. And I haven't gone in quite a bit, so I feel like it hasn't worked the way that it should be. I don't even know if I told you guys what IPL does, but it basically just zaps and gets rid of all of the broken capillaries and blood vessels that you may have. So I have a lot around my nose area and some just around my face that you can only really see under a magnifying light and mirror. Yeah, so I got that treatment done and already I can see such a difference with the redness around my nose. Obviously I'm like irritating it right now by rubbing it so hard and I do have very sensitive skin. But I already know that the result is going to be very amazing. But again, I'm excited to see it in a week or two when it's had some time to settle and just really work. Yeah, I don't know if I was supposed to put makeup on so soon after. I literally put makeup on two hours after getting the treatment done. So I hope that that didn't mess anything up. I usually don't wear makeup for 24 hours. I don't know who told me that, but I don't even think that's a thing. But... We shall see. If you guys love La Roche just as much as I do and you didn't know that they have a micellar water, this is your sign to go and try it. Like, are we kidding with how nicely this just took off all of my makeup and I feel so clean. But obviously, let's go shower now and change out of these dirty ass clothes. I feel gross after coming back from the city and I just can't wait to shower. Okay, you guys, and just like that, I am out of the shower. I truly feel so clean and just fresh. 
I can't wait to do the skincare right now and revive my skin from all of that makeup and just keep it so nice and hydrated through this incredible night's sleep I'm about to have. So starting off with my Aloe Vodiva Power Elixir Drops. This is truly my favorite serum ever and I have been using it for a few weeks now. It is so hydrating and just makes my skin feel so fresh and nice. I literally want to dump the whole bottle on my face. It feels that good. CeraVe PM Moisturizing Lotion, which is another one of my holy grail and most favorite moisturizers ever. And I'm lastly going to go in with the Rode Barrier Restore Cream. It is so nice and thick and I feel like it really locks in all of the hydration throughout the night. And I wake up with my skin looking and feeling so nice and silky smooth. Like, oh my goodness, my skin feels so nice and smooth right now and nice and hydrated and ready for bed. And lastly, going in with my huge Aquaphor stick. This is actually one of my favorite Amazon finds ever. I have never seen this in store or anywhere in person, but when I came across this on Amazon over the summer, I got it so fast and I have been using it ever since. It has lasted me so long and I don't think I'm anywhere near done with it. Like, look at all this product that I haven't even gone through yet. And I've had it for, like I said, months. I am obsessed with Aquaphor and I always need it on me and this is the best way to not always have to put your fingers directly on your lips because sometimes you're out and about and in dirty settings where you don't want your fingers in your mouth. So this is a perfect alternative because we can't live without Aquaphor or at least I can't. And if you're anything like me, you need this and it's also linked on my storefront. And yeah, and that's it for my skincare for the night. Let's go put on a cute PJ set and get in bed. And just like that, I'm all ready for bed. I hope you enjoyed getting unready with me from my long night in the city. And yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 8. And I love you so incredibly much. Mwah.